Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video. This video is part two of my 3D Studio Max series uh, for beginners. So, all right, you are now up and running. You have the viewports down. Hopefully, hopefully you practice that on your own. Hopefully, you know how to navigate around, and hopefully, you've been messing a little bit with the program, and uh, you know you have a little bit of things down. And maybe you're ahead of where I am right now. Who knows? Um, but okay, let's go ahead and dive back in. So here's 3ds Max, and as you can see, everything is kind of off center. And you know what? I just want to go ahead and reset here. I just want to get a clean slate. I don't have anything to save here. So I'm just going to go to this big button here and go to reset and click yes. And there we go. Everything is just reset. So if for some reason, you know, like I'm kind of ahead of you and you just, just know that reset button is there and, you know, you can just give yourself a clean slate. All right, so what have we done? We've done viewports, we've done shortcut keys, we've done uh, the shortcut keys being F, T, L, Z, Z being uh, centering yourself and everything. Um, let me go and give you guys another shortcut here, but first, let me show you how to create an object. Let's go over here to the control panel or command panel here. All right, command panel, blah. All right, and we're gonna go down to standard primitives, primitives, which is, already there and we're gonna go ahead and make a box alright now what I like to do me personally I like to always make my shapes in the top view unless for some reason well okay these standard primitives I like to make them in the view unless it's not really important alright you can make it as big as you want I just like to center this those red sticks on um, somewhat next to that grid line there now when you when you click and let go now you can see now I'm not even clicking any buttons on my mouse. It just automatically gives me the option to resize my, my square, my box. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm looking right now, as you can see, the, you know, this, where, this is where your viewports are coming in. You can see your front view, you can see how big you're making this. Now if you try to adjust your height using your top view, you can see nothing is changing because we're looking at it from the top view. Look at your left and front views, you can see right there, and also your perspective view. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap it about, I don't know, right there, it doesn't really matter. And now what I'm going to do is actually press Z. Boom. And we center ourselves, okay? So let's say I'm zoomed in over here to the corner on the top view, and I'm over here on this side on the front view, and I'm down here right there, and in the perspective view, it's just kind of like everything's just off and not organized. Press Z, and everything just, you know, everything just centers up. So it's really great. All right, so let's say I want to adjust uh, the size of this box after. What I can do is adjust the length right here, Okay, in the parameters, okay, settings, I can adjust the width of the box, and I can even adjust the height again, okay? So you can see right there, now we've made ourselves a box. All right, now here's another uh, important shortcut for Max, okay? Um, actually, after you've made your box, make sure, see it's, make sure you right click. If you don't right click, see how you have box and you start clicking again, you'll make another box. That's probably already happened to you. Sorry for not explaining that before. But, and if you click again, uh, you see that your box command is still highlighted. Right click and that should go away and you can start, you can get on your merry way. So actually I'm gonna select these and I'm gonna delete those because I don't really need those right now. So here's my box and I'm gonna middle click here, middle, you know, middle mouse click and just start panning around. And all right. Here's another important, important um, shortcut, okay? Let's say you are adjusting the height of your box and you're like, you know what? I wanna go back, I didn't like that. Anything that you don't like, as long as you're in the middle of the command, I'm still holding down my mouse button, you can right click while holding down that mouse button and there you go, it'll undo whatever you do. It'll, that'll even happen when you are, let's say, orbiting. Let's say I'm orbiting around my box, okay? By the way, that's Alt, middle mouse button and if I right click, brings me back to where I was. So if I'm way over here, uh, right click while I'm in the middle of the command, there you go, see? That's a really, really nice undo um, undo option there, which uh, Max gives you. And you have no idea how much I use that. Um, I'm often, you know, modeling and I'm doing something and you know, I'm like, no, I, I don't like that. Uh, so I'll just right click and it'll take me back to where I was. It's a really, really fast undo command. You can even do that, let's say we are adjusting segments. Okay, segments, let's go ahead and uh, press F4 here. And now we can start seeing the segments in the perspective view. And you can even see the segments as I add them on the front, top, and left views here. So let me go ahead and add some length segments. Okay, 
by the way, these are the parameters. You know, you're editing the object. This is the way, if you're going to start modeling on this box, uh, these are the different, uh, what, subdivisions, I guess you could call it, the segments. Um, you know, we're, we're making ourselves polygons and such here by adding these segments. Okay. So there you go. See that? Now, what I can do is, let's say I've made, oh, way too many. You know, that's like super heavy. Normally, you don't need that many uh, segments. If I right click, uh, you can see right here. See this arrow right here? See how it's like held down? That means I'm still holding my mouse down. Okay. If I right click, boom, it takes me back to, it, you know, undoes my command. It, so there you go. Just another example of how that undo can really be handy. So there you go. Now we have a bunch of segments. Um, all right. So we have our box down. Let me go ahead and go over some of the shapes that we get. Uh, I don't want to go over too much, okay? So I'm going to delete that box. I'm going to press Z. And everything's centered back up. Let's go back over here to our Create tab. And we're back in Standard Primitives. And we've made a box. So you can see what a box looks like, okay? And we can make a cone. A cone works like this. You can drag out, okay? And what it does is it makes our radius, okay? And we can drag up. And then we click again. It actually goes in. Okay, so try that again. Let's go ahead and make a circle. Let go. We can resize the height of this. Click, and then we can start editing how sharp that uh, that point is. We have a sphere, works just like that. Uh, a geosphere, which is a sphere, but just different uh, geometry on it, different uh, different stuff on it, different polygon shapes and such. We have what is this? A cylinder. Okay. We have a tube. It's interesting the way everything really uh, works, okay? Here's a torus, okay? You know, you can use this to make like a donut or something. A pyramid, which is pretty straightforward, okay? Press Z. Okay, whatever you have selected, press Z. It'll Everything will center around that. Let's say if nothing selected, I'm going to select off the side here, um, and I press Z. Everything will come into view, okay? So that's how that works. We have a teapot. Okay, we have a plane, which is like a, it's just flat. Okay, use that to make floors and such. And there you go, that's your standard primitives. Those are your standard shapes that you get to start modeling and such. Um, actually, those are more geometry, those aren't even shapes. Shapes is more like uh, just lines and splines, and I'll go over that uh, in a bit. I'll go over that in another video. We also have our extended primitives. Sorry if this video is turning out long. But we have our extended primitives, which is even more complex shapes. So actually, let me go ahead and select all these and delete it. I'm just going to delete. Okay, use my delete key there. Here's a, a hedra. Okay. Taurus knot. Okay, that's pretty interesting, right? Oops. Forgot you can adjust the width for that one. Chamfer box. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, you can use that, like, make that, make a pillow or something out of a chamfer box. Um, as I make these shapes, it might be a good idea to, to think about what kind of things that you can make with each of these. Okay, I'm going to click again, and now you can go and adjust the fillet over here. You know, everything is adjusted through these parameters, as you can see here. So, I mean, everything I do can be adjusted. So normally, let's say I make a, uh, I don't know, a chamfer box. I'll usually just make it to get it on there, okay? I'll just make it any size that I want. Actually, let me go ahead and, uh, there we go. Chamfer box, I'll just get it on there, and it doesn't matter what shape I make it. Now what I can do is right-click, oops, make it, great, okay? Now right-click and get out of that command. I'll Z up, and now I can see that object or that geometry. Okay, that primitive, and what I can do now is go to the modify panel, and actually, you know, start changing the way it looks. So once you make it in your view viewport, uh, that's not the final version of it. It doesn't have to be the final version of it. So you can even edit the segments. I mean, it's just interesting to go over each of the objects here or each of the uh, pieces of geometry that you make. You know, just go through all of them and really see what what they can make, what you can make out of them. Um, just use your imagination. Okay, and uh, yeah, so practice up with those, and I'll see you in part three, because uh, there's just too many shapes. I don't want to go over all of them, you know.
We have all these things here. Just start making them on your own and see what they really do. So see you in uh, what part three?